what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are playing a new game. We are playing Planet Coaster. My wife wanted the game, and I figured if we're going to own the game, I'm going to at least do a couple videos on it. So I did check this game out a little bit already. I played a little bit around with it, so I kind of know a bit how it works. So we have these objectives that are shown here on the left, and it says um, these are easy, medium, and hard. These are the three stars we want to get. Easy, we need to get 800 guests and build two rides. Simple enough. Medium, more guests, more rides. And hard is money and guests. So um, let's kind of check out how the whole deal is. Um, so this is kind of what we have to go on. There's already kind of a pre-built park here for us, um, which is interesting. I'm probably not even going to touch anything over there and just kind of building this big old empty space here on our own. Uh, so we've got five thousand dollars right now, and so first thing we want to do, let's build a ride. Uh, so we got Insanity, Rocktopus. Uh, oh, I think that's this right here. Is this Rocktopus? Sure is. We have got uh, Teacups. That's boring. Venetian Carousel. That's boring. And Wild Blue. Let's start with Insanity. So we don't want no lame ride. Okay, so I believe you hold Z and then you can rotate it. Okay, so let's rotate it this way. And let's stick it pretty close. Maybe like, uh, oh, we wanna leave, we wanna leave room for a uh, line. A Q, as they call them. Let's see, how much is this gonna cost us? Oh, quite a bit. Okay, so now to open it up, I believe we gotta place an entrance to the ride on this side, or wherever you want, but I'm gonna put it right here. And place an exit. Uh, can I place it right here? Is that gonna give us enough room? Let's actually place it up on this side and Connect entrance to path. Okay, so we have a Q path a natural path and a path path uh, So first let's go with the path path and we'll use uh, whatever the first one is they all cost the same Yeah, it looks like it will start so we'll a soft purple path with the repeating pattern and we'll use that to connect our exits back to the main road I think um, and why is this main road like not finished? Can we go ahead and finish that? Yes Awesome, okay, and that should be good. And then we need a Q line. We'll just use the blue one to Go ahead and connect this sucker Oh, oh Connect to the Rest of the deal, okay, we'll leave a little bit of a gap. But we'll kind of just have it go back and forth on itself um, I never played Roller Coaster Tycoon, but I've been told, I've been so informed that having a nice long line is important, but if it gets too long, you can be in trouble. Okay, let's go ahead and place it, place it, and let's try that. That seems like a good length line. Uh, ride status close, close, test, open. Awesome, ride open. Okay, so ride statistics, it's saying uh, blah, 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 doesn't matter. One thing's in red, Q scenery rating. Okay, can't click on it. Um, so I'm guessing that is the rating that's based on putting scenery, like trees and stuff around here. Do we have, there's a scenery button down here. Okay, let's try that out. So what do we got? We got path extras, which is barrel bench and barrel bin. We've got props, ooh, all sorts of stuff. Nature, special effects. Oh, we wanna play with that. Ooh, what do we got? Bubbles, <laughs> dirt falling. Ooh, fire. Fire large. Uh, that's actually not that cool. Fire small? No. Flamethrower. Oh yeah, this entrance definitely needs a flamethrower on each side. I'm just right, right, it's called insanity, all right? Okay, what else do we got? Props. Uh, we got a campfire. We got enough fire, I think. Ooh, but a cannon. Well, let's scroll down first. Okay, we got a, a kraken, whoa. Uh, I feel like that's supposed to go in the water. We got pirates. We got a pirate band. We got... Okay, let's go back and get those cannons. Okay. Let's go ahead and stick these... Uh, on, right here. Right here? Sure. Let's have one shooting directly towards the customers. And then one on the other side shooting right back. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and deck this right out and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, so we decked out this ride. We got the red coats firing at the pirates. We got the treasure chest going on over here. We put some trees and bushes around and uh, we dropped some trash cans. I'm guessing those are gonna be important. And of course, some benches for the old people to sit on while the cool fun kids get to go on the ride. All right, so what is our next deal? Uh, 
Okay, so we got two rides. We need to attract 800 guests. I think that's kind of going to happen on its own. But let's go ahead and see what else we can build. So we have coasters, of which there is nothing. Try researching some. No idea what that means. Okay, track rides. Nothing. Regular rides. That's where we were. Shops and facilities. Because we're going to make money. Oh, we're going to want some shops and facilities. So let's go ahead and... That's a really skinny path. Let's widen that. A tad. Two, six, maybe? Oh! First star! So far, we're killing it. All right, so that's right. So let's go ahead and keep looping this around. Um, I don't know how far we need to go, but let's go just out that way. Sure, that sounds good. And can we loop it back around this way? So this way, we have a pa two different ways to get to this stuff. Because I know if I was going to amusement park, that's what I'd want. Perfect. All right, so now let's look at shops and facilities. So we've got food shops. Heck yeah, that's where the money's at. Uh, burger store, Chief Beef. <laughs> All right, pirate shop. Uh, obviously we want Chief Beef. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw that. Which is, that's the entrance I'm guessing? All right, right there. And if we're gonna have a food shop, you're gonna have to have a drink shop. What, what better drink shop than the drink shack? Okay, throw that sucker there. What else do we got? Gift shops, there's nothing. Restroom, seems important. Let's put the toilet shack next to the drink shack. Okay. Uh, first aid, nothing. ATM, nothing. Ticket booth, nothing. Park entrance, and other. Information, nothing. Okay, so that's all the options we have there. Um, let's see if we can go ahead and, go ahead and put some more trash cans in uh, at each entrance. I don't know how many of these suckers we need but let's say two at each entrance is probably fine. I'm not really worried about them being lined up. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just kind of throw, throw in some more benches so people got places to sit. Oh, look, people are already streaming in. They must have been hungry. Oh, we have notification. Guests think commotion in the ocean is a long queue time. That is this place. Okay. Um, well, I don't know what I can do about that. Okay, here we go. Paths, queue. Uh... We can delete, delete, maybe, Ooh, delete. Okay, can we make the line longer? Like so. I don't know if that'll decrease the queue time, but it'll take pe people a longer time to get there at least. And then ride is open. All right, let's try that. And this ride also is 100% uh, scenery, whatnot. All right, so what's what's the next deal? Uh, don't care about that. All right, the next deal is build two more rides. Awesome, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to building, and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, we went ahead and got our second ride set up. We're going with a kind of a shipwreck theme. We got a camp and like a bunch of random supplies and a crash ship with some cracking arms coming out the back. Um, lots of stuff's going on. Uh, but I just got a notification saying that guests are thirsty. Even though we have we have one drink shack. What more do they want? All right, apparently they want two drink shacks. All right, let's go buildings. Uh, no, 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 shops and facilities. So we got a drink shack. Maybe they, what they really want is a planet coaster drink. What was this called? Planet coaster drink, that's it. And uh, obviously the most natural place for it is right next to this pirate ride. Let's go ahead and open shop there. And uh, of course that means we're gonna have to give it a couple more. Trash cans, so we don't want people making a mess everywhere. And a couple more benches, people can sit and eat their milkshakes or whatever they serve there. Sweet! Okay, now what do we got? So, standard restroom is not accessible from the park entrance. What does that mean? It looks certainly looks accessible to me. Okay. Oh, oh, there's a back entrance. Uh, so let's just go ahead and connect that, connect that to the main deal. Ooh, can we sneak it in right here? No, we're gonna have to go all the way around. Well, let's connect it this way then. Perfect, problem solved. Okay, and then what was the other notification? Guests are thirsty. So far we're killing it. Okay, so what else do we need to do now to go get the, our second star? So we've already got the guests. Now we need to build four rides. So we need to build one more ride and let's see what our options are. So we got the Rocktopus, we got the Insanity. 
Um, we have Wild Blue. I guess we do need one kitty ride. Teacups or carousel? Uh, obviously the teacups. Oh, look, it fits perfect right there. Ooh, but that's not gonna leave us a lot of room for line, is it? Okay, let's back it up a little. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay, place the entrance. Right there. Place the exit. Right there. And now we gotta do is connect it and get it all set up. And we got our second star for making that ride happen. Uh, we still gotta decorate it. All I've done is make the path, but I kind of think I know what I wanna do. You can change the terrain. And I wanna make a lake. Yeah, make it real deep. Can we kind of do whatever we want? Ooh, we can. And it'll kind of just work its way around. Oh, that's awesome. It'll work its way around the path for us. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, now can we fill this sucker with water? Calm water? Fill up. Oh, there it is. No, no, no. Rough water. Can we change it? Can we make it rough? Okay, let's delete that. Now let's go rough water. There we go. Okay, because I saw some pretty cool scenery stuff. There was a big old huge ship. Is that it? Yeah. Now, I don't know if this lake is quite big enough for it, but we're gonna shove that sucker in anyways. Oh. Oh, come on. Fit. Oh, I clicked on for a second. Oh, there it is. And there it is, a massive ship that is completely in the way and also super ridiculous. Oh, it's cutting off our, uh, our queue. Should we delete, 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 and do one of these, and do one of these. There we go. Look, it's like sticking in the middle of the path. That's insane. <laughs> Who in their right mind would put that there? Okay, that's a little too ridiculous. Okay, let's get rid of it. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay, that's a little excessive. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out something else to do. Oh, actually, now we might be able to make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with it and see what we can come up with. Uh, all right, guys, so we set up this ride and we put the Kraken in here instead of the boat because it fit better. We got a couple dudes in a little sailboat trying to get the buried treasure, the whole pirate deal's going on, and it looks pretty awesome, I gotta say. Um, so it took a little while to get used to the controls of this thing, but now that I've gotten used to it, it's actually fairly intuitive and works pretty well. So to get that last star that we need, oh, many guests are thirsty. Okay, we'll put in a drink place. We need to get 1,100 guests, we're almost there, and $15,000. So at this point, I think it might just be a matter of waiting, um, but we don't want people to scare it away. So let's get uh, another drink shack, I'm thinking. Kind of stick that sucker right there. And now we have this big old open space right here. Oh, I wonder if we can fit that boat right there. Actually, it's not really necessary. It won't actually help us at all. So I think <laughs> for the sake of, uh, Actually, winning. Uh, let's just throw like, maybe a shop. Throw a little shop there. Uh, what other kind of things we got? Uh, maybe another restroom. Oh, that one's dumb. Oh, ooh, that's too big. That's too big. Okay, these are all way too big, and that's super creepy. Oh yeah, we're definitely throwing that there. Oh my gosh, how terrifying is that? Okay, these guys don't have backs like the other one, do they? Okay. Cool, and now I think it's just a matter of uh, waiting for the money to roll in, and let's keep an eye on it. All right, so we did add one more ride to get those last guests, and it, we got the up to 1,100, and it looks like we're just about to hit 15,000 monies. Uh, so that way, hopefully, we can get that third star. Let's go build up. It's going down. You see it there on the left-hand side? It's at 14... Nine, oh, there it is! 15,000! Three stars! Um, so we absolutely demolish this challenge um, But for today guys, I do think that is gonna be it if you did enjoy the video or if you learned something uh, Go ahead and do me a favor and give me a thumbs up and of course uh, Also feel free to subscribe if you have not yet done so uh, Before today guys that is gonna be you can also hit me up on all the social medias or Instagrams your Facebook your Google pluses your even your Twitter's um, And you can hit up a patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah X uh, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me today. And until next time, I will see you later.